<laughs> I made a song like that before. When I'm gonna be 86 years old, I probably gonna be the same. Like, I'm gonna be just a cool ass old head. I'm probably gonna have one. So whatever was gonna be dripping, whatever is the new drip, I'm gonna probably have that shit. I'm like, damn, this old head cool as shit, what the fuck? But yeah, I'm gonna be still smoking weed, still fucking with my bae, you know what I'm saying? Still doing all the same shit, you know what I'm saying? Probably just having more game, more knowledge to kick, more shit to talk, you know what I'm saying? More stories for your ass, because I'm 86, you know what I'm saying? And I'm still living on the motherfucking green earth, you feel me? So hell yeah, shit. I have a lot to say when I'm 86. Hey man, you already know it's your boy PNB Rock, and right now we rocking with Montrealty. And you know, I fuck with Montrealty because every interview that I watch, like they ask real questions. You know what I'm saying? They don't try to dig into you, get messy. You know what I'm saying? They don't ask like shit that's gonna make you mad and try to slap the camera. You know what I'm saying? They they just be real and they just ask genuine questions that's gonna help the youth and. And just empower people, you know what I'm saying? They ain't really trying, they ain't with the fuck shit, you feel me? Like, I fuck with Montreality. They just keep it all way authentic and they real. So, shout out to Montreality. That way. When I was young, I had, when I was a teenager, I had all type of hustles and shit. Like, I remember I used to work with my uncle on Germantown Ave. Like, that's like a nice little intersection in my hood. We used to be selling shit like CDs, DVDs. Nigga, I had fake Jordans, fake Air Force Ones, all that shit. Like, nigga, I was I was out there trapping. But yeah, um, that was one of my little traps. Um, I remember one time I tried to uh, sign up for some summer job shit. It worked out for a little minute, but I, I had I was on the run, so I had to quit. But I was a I was like a, a camp counselor. I was a summer camp counselor, nigga. The thoroughest one in there. You heard me, like real rap. Um, what else? And other than hustling and shit and trapping, selling drugs, that's the only thing I used to do. Like I used to just be on the ad selling shit, go to the block, get my couple dollars over there, wooty woop. You feel me? It's dope that you actually named the jobs because a lot of rappers like they just act like they didn't have no jobs before this. But, yo, yeah, I ain't even gonna care. I used to always be saying that too. I was one of them niggas. So I used to be like, yeah, I ain't never had a job. You feel me? Uh, Cause it sound cool. You feel me? But I'm gonna keep it real. Like I had, a, I had a little, I had a little some little shit. That shit was neither here nor there though. Like I wouldn't consider that as like a nine to five. You know what I'm saying? That shit was nothing. I wasn't even getting paid. I wasn't even getting paid probably like a hundred dollars every check, and that was like every two weeks, nigga. Maybe 200 every two weeks. That shit wasn't done. Uh, today, bro, do you think the planet is sad? I even go cap. The whole planet is sad right now, bro. The world is a, like as a whole. You know what I'm saying? It's just like in a state of. You know what I'm saying? We sad. You know, Nipsey just died. Shit ain't right right now. You know what I'm saying? He was a genuinely like real ass person. You feel me? He was a good ass person. And when he got taken away, it was just like, damn. Now everybody get to see that, you feel me? It take for niggas to die or go through some hardship for people to like zoom in on your life and like look at your shit more. Like that's just how the world is now. It's weird as shit, but you know what they say, they only love you when you dead or you gone, you feel me? Like that's really how it is out here. That's just still here, you feel me? Like that's just still in the air. It's still like, damn, they took another one of the greats. Like first we lost, like it go from Lil Peep you know, XXX, and now like, even when, like, Nip, like, goddamn, like, it's making, you know, back in the day, it was like, rare for a rapper to like, go, like, when Biggie and Pac got killed, that shit was like a catastrophe for the world, you know what I'm saying? And now I don't want to say it like that, but nowadays, it's just, like, that shit is kind of regular when a nigga get killed, like, if you're a rapper. A lot of, I can name, I can go down the list, you feel me, but, shit, man, the world is just like, I feel like we was on the up and up, you know what I'm saying? But like when shit like that happened, it just bring us all the way back to the level ground zero. I and mean, we gotta bring it back up. You gotta have a lot of more like good shit happening, you know what I'm saying? Like we gotta bring good shit to the table, you know what I'm saying? Like Meek doing a lot of good shit as far as like getting all these keys to the city and, and, and helping people get out of jail and shit like that. Like that's great shit, you know what I'm saying? We need more shit like that. But the world need to get better as a whole, I feel like. Like we fucked up right now. Like. Everything like people take for granted is like 
real shit. Like people just look at like look at the pollution and shit like that. Like people don't even really think about it. But nigga, this is our air that we breathe. Nigga, this shit about to be over if we keep taking this shit lightly. You feel me? But that's just the world we live in. That's just the time that we in right now. But shit, gonna, they gonna learn. You feel me? Niggas gonna catch up eventually. Uh, laws of attraction. I feel like that shit is real. You know what I'm saying? With the with the way my way of thinking. You know what I'm saying? Being like, if you think positive. And you think about doing some positive shit, more than likely you're gonna do some positive shit. And if you think negative, and think about doing some negative shit, more than likely you're gonna do some negative shit, right? So, for example, me, a situation, I'm gonna only speak about me because I can't speak about it for nobody else. Personal situation shit, right? So, bang. I come home from jail, right? For some dumb shit. You feel me? I get locked up for some dumb shit. Come home from jail, you know, and that same morning, one of my friends, one of my young niggas, they get killed, shot 19 times, you feel me? So, me being me, you know who I am, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm an artist at the same time, but before all of that shit, you know, I'm in the streets first, you feel me? Like, I'm thinking like, damn, they just killed my youngin', like, you feel me? Like, I should, I'm ready to go hit the block, you feel me? I'm ready to go load up, you feel me? Like, spin on some niggas, you feel me? But at the same time, I'm PNB Rock now, you feel me? Like, I'm not this trap star nigga or this nigga that's just out on the block and don't got nothing to lose. So I was like, instead of thinking negative, you know what I'm saying? I was like, bro, Take me to the studio, you feel me? Like take me to the take I'm in Philly right now, but take me in the, take me to New York. Book me a session. Let me get a session so I can take this shit out. Like with the music, you feel me? Like instead of like going do some dumb shit, I went and thought on a positive note, let me put this into like how all my feelings into the art, into the music. So and that's exactly what I did. Like I was on my way to the studio listening to some shit, uh members only album. They dropped some shit. I was listening to that shit. And there was a song on there called Now or Never. That shit is so fire to me. And it was like, everybody on the song was like four artists. They was all saying the same thing over and over. And it was like, damn, these lines touching the shit on me. On my way to the studio, I'm like, fuck. I'm like, damn, this shit, I need to sample this. I want to sample this and make this like another, like, into some, like put it into my words and like let you know how I'm feeling. The realest shit I ever wrote, um, it gotta be, I'm, I, I ain't even gonna lie, it gotta be the Now or Never shit right now because this is like, that's what I'm going through right now, you know what I'm saying? And that's just like really the times of what we in right now. For real, for real, that's just what it is. All right, be like, uh, tell me why did you leave so fast? Tell me why does it hurt so bad? Why you had to spread your wings so fast? I'll never leave you in the past, no. They come my dog today, it's crazy, man, they took my dog away. So I'm going hard today, cause for me, it will be a call away. It's raining hard today, these tears drop, they keep falling, ayy. I gotta watch for my enemies, cause I know that they be trying to get rid of me. They trying to kill all my energy, plotting the scheme, and they trying to put an enemy. Know some people around me right now, they ain't right, they be moving too finicky. You act like I owe you a sign, little nigga, I was starting to peep all your tendencies. But when I was down, and when I was out, I couldn't call you, was you kidding me? Now in days, I don't even breathe still. Love my hood, but fuck it, I don't really need to. Cause they killed my bro, they killed a part of me too. Now it's a hole in my heart, everybody can see through. Huh, trap star, pop star, trap star. Pop, ay, trap star, pop star, locked up, cop car, bailed out. Crazy how I still feel like I'm in jail now. Room full of bitches and I swear I can't even tell now. I don't want to hit bitch, I just want to be by myself now. I feel all alone inside this world, girl, can't you tell now? Say I sold my soul, bitch, I don't have a soul to sell now. Even though I'm winning, I've been taking all these L's now. The eyes are all against me, it's like they want me to fail now. Two days, I've been up for two days trying to figure out why the good gotta die young i'm trying to figure out why we always gotta fall victim to the system now huh. give me some volume gotta pour my feelings out no it took a while but i think i get it now niggas took my style but i swear it's different now trying to take me out so i keep a stick around huh. damn what did you learn from having a daughter and having you know that blessing in your life and her presence what did she teach you um, me having a daughter taught me a lot, like, just having patience, you know what I'm saying? Like, at first that shit was hard as shit, I ain't gonna lie, like, I go to sleep at whatever time she wanna go to sleep. It could be 9 o'clock or it could be fucking 3 in the morning, you feel me? But she always wake up at 5 in the morning crying, you know what I'm saying, at the same fucking time every day. So I used to be mad as shit at first, like, damn, I can't take this shit, man. Like, I need some sleep, nigga, I need some rest. I'm, I ain't used to this shit, you feel me? Like, 
and she only gonna keep crying and she ain't gonna stop until I come over there and, and take care of whatever she want, you feel me? Whatever, if it's milk, whatever she want, you change, whatever she want, just lay on, she just want heat, you feel me? Lay on your, lay on my stomach or lay on my chest, you feel me? She just wanna go to sleep on me. I had to get used to that shit, bro. Like, I ain't used to none of that. I wasn't used to none of that at first, you feel me? Like, I'm coming from fuck these bitches, fuck everybody. My mom kicked me out when I was 13. I ain't even on that. I'm on all solo dolo shit, me and my bro. You feel me? But it's like, now I got this little girl, you feel me? And she looking at me. Everything is gonna come through me or her mom. She ain't gonna eat without me. She not gonna like do nothing without me. She not gonna be able to get no clothes without me. You feel me? She not gonna have no new diapers if I don't go get them bitches. So now I just put my shit into extra grind mode. You feel me? Like, damn. It's not just about me anymore. I can go a couple days without fucking eating. You feel me? Cause I'm a trap nigga. This shit just happens like that for me sometimes. Like I may hit a lick and be good for a couple couple weeks, couple months, and then I'm back down to square one. Like fuck it, I ain't eat today. It's cool. But this little girl right here, she can't go a day without eating, nigga. She gotta eat all day, nigga. She gotta drink milk all day, all fucking day. You feel me? And I ain't got no fucking food stamps, none of that shit, nigga. All this shit comes from the muscle. So it's like once I figure out the patience. And just, just being like, I want to say like consistent, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause at first, like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I was thinking like, I only needed to be around like a little bit, but that shit, that shit wasn't working. Like you need to be around all 20, not to, if you can't be around 24 hours, but you gotta be around as much as you can. You know what I'm saying? Because babies pick up everything quick as shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't want, you don't want her to pick up all the wrong shit. And it's only certain things that a dad can teach a daughter. You know, the mom can't really articulate everything like how I'ma say it, or she ain't really been through a lot of shit that I've been through. You know what I'm saying? So I just had to be around more, figure that out. That was nothing. I wanted to be around as she grew up, you know what I'm saying? As she started getting older, it was like, damn, I just felt more and more in love with my daughter, you know what I'm saying? And now it's just like, I'm a fucking addicted to being with her, you feel me? Like, I can't spend time without her now. Like, but shit, having a daughter teaches me a lot, bro. Like, it teaches me, like, to respect girls for real, though, for real, for real. Because it's like, all the shit that she see me do to a girl, she gonna think that shit cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, she gonna think, like, oh, that's what niggas supposed to do. My dad do it. My dad the best. She look at me like I'm the best person in the world, you know what I'm saying? So if my dad do it, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta keep that shit in mind. She be having me on point like a motherfucker. Like, nigga, I gotta make it back home. You feel me? I got too much shit going on at the crib, you feel me? Like, she in the crib writing letters and shit right now. Like, she probably writing her ABC. She only five. You would think she like motherfucking 12, you feel me? What's your message to her if she's watching right now? Um, a message that I would say from Milan, if she was watching this, which she probably is, she'd be watching everything. Um, just have fun while you're young, you know what I'm saying? Cause you be thinking that you just gotta be so grown so quick, you feel me? And you're only five. You think you like 35, but you're only five. Just have fun while you're young because you're gonna see, me right now, I wish I was young, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wish I was 10, 11, 12 running around, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's when I had fun the most, you know what I'm saying? Like now, when I'm grown, it's more responsibilities, you know what I'm saying? Like I got bills. I'ma still help cause I'm your dad and I'm always gonna be here, but you just gotta think about it. Like, you don't wanna be doing none of this stuff so early. You wanna do this stuff at the end as far as possible down the line. So just chillax and just have your fun while you can, you know what I'm saying? And just enjoy being a kid and just don't ever stop doing what you're doing, though. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I already know you're gonna be a star that way. Um, Pretty much Orlando. Shout out to Orlando, Orlando Wurtenberg. He introduced me to X Music because like he was trying to sign him, of course. He always up on the new shit. So when he played me to look at me shit, at first I'm like, let me hear that shit again. Then I'm listening to that shit, I'm like, bro, this shit hard as shit. I ain't never heard no shit like this. Like this nigga, he talking some hard, crazy shit. Like the fuck this nigga even saying? Like, this shit hard, this shit just got me like this. Like, <laughs> yeah, look at me, <laughs> fuck with me, yeah, bitch, yeah, all that. I'm like, this shit hard. And then like, it came time for me to meet him. We pulled up to his crib. And I'm thinking, I'm looking at the videos all on YouTube of him fucking niggas up. Like, he getting into brutal fights and shit like this. And I'm like, this nigga crazy. So I'm thinking, like, when I meet him, like, he gonna be on some, like, super tough ass, 
Like, he just this hardcore ass nigga. Like, I'm ready, I'm ready to bring that same energy. You feel me? Like, I'm just ready. But when I met him, he was like polite as shit. Like, what's up, brother? Like, what's up, bro? Like, what's up, fam? I don't remember exactly what he said, but he was like, damn, that's how you talk. Like, I didn't think that was how he was, like, how he was carrying it. Like, this nigga talk proper and shit. <laughs> But I was fucking with him though, like instantly. Like, damn, I was judging this nigga way wrong. Like, I'm let me let me let me step up a couple of stacks back. He just was cool as shit. He was one of the coolest niggas I've met. Like, he just was a regular person, like, you feel me? And then I just so happened to go to the mall with this nigga. I ain't really knowing the impact that he got. I just so happened to go to the mall with this nigga. Like he 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 amazed at the shit that I'm doing. Like, cause I got I'm flexing, I got the drop top Lambo, you feel me? I'm flexing, I got all these bands. This was full bit before he really signed this deal. So I'm flexing, I got all these bands, you know what I'm saying? He amazed with this shit. He hype as shit. I'm happy, you feel me? I'm just living my movie. He I'm happy that he he witnessing this shit and, and this is my first time really like getting to some money. I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking with the vibe. But we just so happen to go to the mall and then you know, I be getting people running up on me like, yo, PNB, I get a flick, ah, da, 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 da. Bro, when I tell you, nobody was paying me no fucking mind, bro, I swear to God. Everybody wanted to take a pick with this man, bro. They was, like, dying to take a pick with this nigga. I'm like, oh, damn, hold up, let me take, like, who the fuck is I'm with right now? Like, this nigga must be way more lit than I'm thinking. Like, this nigga gotta be a god to these motherfuckers the way they running up. Like, they really, like, crying and shit. Like, motherfuckers is in tears. I'm like, damn, this nigga really lit. Like, he really got this impact on these motherfuckers. Like, let me dig more into this shit. Like, you feel me? Like, and that was pretty much how we started our relationship. Just texting back and forth, talking about regular life shit. This nigga would take me some random ass shit out of nowhere. Like, a nasty ass video of of a fucking somebody chopping a fucking cat head off or some shit. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with this motherfucker, man? Like, he just random as fuck, bro. Or he just send me, like, some porno shit. I'm like, bro, this nigga is just out of pocket, bro. What's up? But that's just him. Like he just random as fuck, and he do just random shit that you would never think of. And as I got to learn him, I'm like, yo, this nigga is funny as fuck, bro. He really is an asshole. And then it comes to the music, you know what I'm saying? Like we eventually, of course, going back and forth listening to music, and like, damn, we got hurt. You feel me? Like it came, that conversation came, and we just, I was in L.A. one day. He was in L.A. And I had the studio, it was like a bullshit. It wasn't like, I ain't gonna say a bullshit joint, but it was like, there wasn't no extravagant ass studio, you feel me? And when we got there, that nigga was like, damn, this studio nice as fuck. I ain't never been to no real studio. I'm like, what? I'm thinking in my head, like, this studio is ass, bro. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, this is not that. Like, you ain't never seen, you ain't seen nothing yet then. I'm ready to take this nigga, I was ready to leave. I'm like, bro, I gotta take this nigga to a nice studio, Louis, so he could really be like, damn, this is it. But we fucking, we, we ain't even going nowhere. We stayed in there. We made, uh, I'm trying to think what was the first song we made. The first song we made was Smash. Yeah, you know, I smash up. Uh, yeah, I smash. When I heard him on that shit, I'm like, damn, it's some different shit, bro. This shit wavy, bro. Like, y'all ain't even know you can get in this bag. And we made changes. I know a lot of people probably seen the video. It was pretty much just, he went in there, he already had this melody in his head that he said he was thinking about all day. He was like, I want, let's try something to this melody I was thinking about. And then when he played this shit on the piano, I'm like, yeah, that's a vibe. I fuck with this shit. Like, like I'm trying to think, like, where you want to go with it, though? Like, I was thinking, like, topic-wise, like, where you want to go? And he just, he started singing and shit. I'm like, yo, this shit sound hard. That shit sound hard as shit. And then I started playing the piano with him. And then when the, the engineer, whoever was out, he was like, bro, y'all got to record that beat, at least now, like, before y'all start thinking about some other shit. I'm like, all right, we laid the beat down, bang. And then we started, uh, pretty much it was like, he liked the way he had already. So he was like, I'm gonna go lay that down. Then he laid it down. And then he was like, all right, now you go lay some shit under it. I was like, under it or like after it? He was like, both. I was like, I'm gonna just finesse it. Like, I'm gonna finesse it somehow. Then I lay my part. And then he was like, all right, yeah, that shit it. That's it, it's over. <laughs> I'm like, yo, this nigga is random as shit, bro. And then he pretty was like, we just repeat everything over and over. I was like, all right, fuck it. It is what it is, <laughs> let's do it. And then, um, you know, that shit did what it did. That shit went. Couple times platinum. Motherfucker, shout out to X though. I say it's just a different type of nigga, bro. Yeah. Uh, my message to the youth would be my message to the youth today would be like, don't, like, I know y'all like idolize a lot of these rappers and entertainers and people that's like famous. Don't believe what you see, you know what I'm saying? Like, believe half of what you see and none of what you hear. Like, none of that shit is really, like, true. A lot of these motherfuckers is, like, 
regular people just like you. They just put it on the facade. So don't go out there and be doing all this extra goofy shit, like thinking that you got to do this shit to be a big person or you got to do this shit to make money. Like, there's so many ways for you to do this shit legit, genuinely just being you. You feel me? Like, you don't got to do all this extra antics shit. I don't want people to think like, damn, I got to dye my hair to go crazy or I got to fucking jump off a bridge into a fucking flaming fucking hoop to fucking get lit. You don't got to do all that shit. Just be hot and just be genuine. Just have a, like your own artistic craft. And just don't think that everything that you see on the media is true, bro. These niggas be capping so hard. They be fucking my brain up and I'm in this shit. You feel me? And this from the outside looking in, you would really think like these motherfuckers is living their best life. Really, your actuality, these motherfuckers just put on the front and they miserable, you feel me? Like, they going through this shit. They going through the motions more than you with money. You know what I'm saying? Just because they trying to put on a show and be this person that they, in all actuality, really not, you feel me? And it's like, it's a battle between the two, them being them and them on the camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, that should be fucking with the motherfucking people brain, you feel me? Like, just be you and don't let another person life, like, make you hate what you doing, you know what I'm saying? Because at one point in time, nigga, everybody was right where you was at. You feel me? A fan of somebody else shit, just watching, just looking. You know what I'm saying? So you you can do the same thing that that person doing. Just don't, you don't gotta follow in their footsteps. Do your own thing. Just be your own person. And shit, that's what it is. Montreality Show. My city needs something, we need it real bad I'm tired of yellow tape, so tired of teddy bears I'm sick of kids growing up without they mom and dads And cops killing left and right, hey man, what's up with that, oh? <laughs>